Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. So welcome to the tutorial. So the first thing I always do is you duplicate the background layer. You can do that by pressing Ctrl G or you bring your background layer into this place, create a new layer, then it's going to duplicate by itself. The next thing I did after duplicating the background layer was to remove some blemishes, the very obvious blemishes. I didn't want to wait till frequency separation before doing that. So I removed some blemishes that are not really obvious except this particular one. Then the next thing I did was to do a little bit of micro dodge and burn, just a very tiny bit. Uh, this is the before micro dodge and burn, this is the after, just to fix the skin variations and the light inconsistencies on the model skin. By the way, this picture was taken by I am Ibeleme. You can check him out. He's a wonderful photographer, he's a celebrity photographer in Nigeria. He's extremely good and you should just check him out. So let's get back to the video. So after doing micro dodge and bond, the next thing I did was to run my frequency separation action. You can see I'm using flame frequency separation, which is an action. So instead of creating a new frequency separation layer, I just picked up an action and clicked on it. If you want to learn more on how to create actions, it will be in the description below and it will appear on the screen. So you can click on it when you are done with this video. So in this frequency separation method that I used, I used the lasso two method. I didn't use the mixer brush method. So if you want to know more about those two methods, you can comment down below and I can give you a comprehensive video on frequency separation. I picked the lasso two method because I actually want to work faster. The mixer brush will have taken a lot more time. So I see before, after, before, after. Frequency separation on this particular image did not take up to five minutes. It was that fast. So this is the before, this is the after, before, after. This is what you can achieve in under five minutes. So the next thing I did after frequency separation was to just color grade. I'm done with the screen retouching. The first color grading method I used, or the adjustment layer I used, was gradient map. Just to give it this dark feel. It's a dark skin, man. I want to, I want to enunciate its darkness. I want to bring out the beauty of the darkness. I want to make it bold before after of the gradient map so uh i picked the darkest part of his skin and i picked the lightest part of his skin to run my gradient map on the whole image then the next thing i did was to use rich tones as you can see that rich tone let me show you the effect i usually i i maxed him out using color range so as you can see just his skin alone was maxed out and it's on the white layer mask which means that is what will be reviewed white reviews and black conceals so i'm trying to reveal a particular place and the black parts are this part the red part so now that i've reviewed the type of skin i want this is the rich skin tone i want the next thing i did was run the a brightness adjustment layer I felt it was too bright, then I added a bit of contrast, or a lot of contrast. I brightened it up a lot and I added 26 contrast. So, this is the before, the brightness and contrast, this is after. As you can see, it's looking better with the brightness. Then the next thing I did was to even out the skin tones. I was not seeing the uniformity in the skin tones. I was just seeing these light variations, as you can see. Light variation. So I picked a skin from I picked a color from his skin and I colored his whole body or his whole skin with a particular color. Before, after, before, after, just a bit. I use the opacity. Let me make it hundred. Can see that a whole lot? I'm not saying it's bad, but uh little is more in photography literally is more in photoshop it's looking very nice like this looking more artistic but i still have plans for this picture in making the black border and i don't want to use even skin tones to bring that into effect so i changed my brain mode from normal to color the next thing i did was to reduce the reds i don't want the color of of his clothes to be red i don't i don't want this background to be red so i did the red a bit just a bit just to wash it out then I sharpened. When I sharpened, I discovered that it was looking too grungy. Then I had to reduce the sharpness to 10% as well as 10% over here. So if you want to learn how to sharpen, the link will be 
in the description below. You can also watch one of my videos on how to create actions. In that particular video, I explained how to create sharpening action. So the next thing I did after sharpening was to work on the background and its clothes. I used this particular selection, then I inverted it. So I just made it yellow. I played with the EU. So you can change it to any color. Plus on the seven right see, I can always change it to any color. See from blue, that is the power of you. I can always change you to any color I want. Like isn't it wonderful? I can make it blue. I can make it green. This is looking like green. okay. That's green. That was teal. Then I can make it yellow. Whatever yellow I want. I can make it orange, red, pink, purple, blue, cyan, and you know. So let, let let me go back to my yellow. I think I, I love my yellow since <laughs> I think I love my yellow. C plus twenty seven. So I won't forget twenty five, twenty six. The next thing I did after that was to create a black and white adjustment layer and almost like these rich tones. Then I applied it on just skin so before the black and white looking okay but i want that very dark bold look so i made it black and white so and that's the end of the tutorial this is the before and after before after let me zoom in to the mod model skin so you can see the before before after before after so don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel like comment and put on that notification icon thank you very much